After filling the ink tank with ink, we need to get all the ink into the dampers. We can do this with one or two times power ink flashing. Open the control panel by click window key and find the control panel. View by large icons. Find the devices and printers open it. Now you can see the printers you installed. In this case, we have a 805 printer. Right click, select printing preferences and click maintenance menu. You can see power ink flashing button. Click power ink flash button and click OK. You cannot use this function because it has been less than 12 hours since last use. That means you already did a power ink flashing like a few minutes or a few hours ago and less than 12 hours. But we have another way to solve this issue. Right click date time and click adjust date time. Here you need to turn, uh, turn off the set time automatically. Otherwise, it won't allow you to change the time. Click change set the date and time manually. Change the date to tomorrow. Click change. And click power ink flashing again. So this time you can do the power ink flashing. Click start. Please make sure you connect with the ink tank with the tube. After power ink flashing, we need to print nozzle check. We can use a film to print the nozzle check. The multi side is print side. So now we can load the film. Before you print the nozzle check, make sure you install the exit paper tray properly. In first row, we can see no others. We can see first one is cyan, magenta, white, white, black, and yellow. We also found this one is no missing any spots. That means the printer is ready to print. If they are missing some spots, you can do a head cleaning or do a power ink flashing. In most case, Customer need to do up to two times power ink flashing. You will see one to two ounces with ink in the tank. Go back to maintenance panel. Click head cleaning. Click start. Head cleaning is used less ink than power ink flashing but the speed is slower than power ink flashing. Thank you for watching. See you in next video.